Hike up your pants. This is the third round of the 2018 Tuesday Night World Championships. If you haven't seen round one or two, check them out. Because at the first round, opening day, we had some intense action on the track at Jeremy's Place, or better known, the Bent Badly Compound. It ended up being John taking the win that day. Go, Jeremy, go! Casey with a second and Jeremy with a third place finish. This doesn't make any sense. The second round was very confusing. Casey looped his bike out and Adam found some mud here. At the end of the day, we had a wicked intense race on the sand track. It got pretty hectic out there. Oh. I even tried to take Adam out. Adam took the win, Casey with a second place again, and Nick got the third. So catch up on those videos if you haven't yet. And now, round three is at the Zack Attack One compound. So right now we're doing a burn in race, just burning in the track, five laps, getting used to it, warming up. Very slippery. The dirt here is super slick. Holy best sketch. So you can tell it's that really dark, wet soil on top of a clay base. And you, you, if you've ridden on stuff like this, you know what it's like. It's scary. I mean, it is very, very slippery. So if you look right here, you can go left or right. A riders go to the right. Everybody else goes to the left. Uphill, you got some Rockies, ro rocks, why do I call them Rockies? Log crossing, and then this. I made this trail, it was a bad idea. <laughs> Mike, putting on the block. Oh, you. Split line here, but that this is not worth it at all. camber slightly kind of a pain this course is kind of a pain it's not meant to be super easy flowy nice this part is though you get going here We had this all planned out. Jeremy, Adam, and I worked on this trail, and then the loggers skidded all these trees here during the day, and then we're like, oh crap, so it kind of has to route around. It's a little sketchy. <laughs> Looks like Mike spun out there. I gotta round him. But then I get to this section. This is ugly. Oh boy, this is terrible. <laughs> so Mike, once again,
again is ahead of me, but something happens here where he can, I think something got caught in his tire. Look at that. And I'm able to get around him again. And it's like the same story as the last lap. We come to this section. Once again, I struggle big time. Mike is very good at this being a very experienced trials rider. He gets right through it. Okay, maybe not quite. into the mix and just gives you a good old screw you there's some roost in your face and I'm left here crying pushing the bike that's Nick right there I don't know how he got to here he was on the other loop. He's not supposed to be on the hard loop. And I don't know how he, I don't know what he did. Oh. Oh my God. That was pathetic. I gotta start taking Viagra to get it up. I, what? Huh? Oh. There we go. That upper line. Oh, not quite. That upper line here. This was really, that was good. That was a good line. So just keep this in mind. I just finished the third lap. I'm starting the fourth. Struggling to get over the log. I get over it, then something pulls me down. I'm like, what the heck? And it's this vine. I tell you, I've said it before. Vines are out there to get you. They're not good. All they want to do is take you over and kill you and they I mean that's what they do they they take over trees they encapsulate them choke them out and kill you take them down kill the trees where am I going that's five right yeah what they're doing another so I'm waiting around like all right I did five laps I did four Ab and Mike come back. They're like, Zach, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm I'm done. And they're like, no, you are not. I'm like, I did one, two, three, four. Oh, yeah, I got to do another one. So then I, I got to do it all over again. Same process, getting stuck, falling over, pushing the bike. Why? How close was that? Uh, that was about three and a half. I got so stuck. I heard the chainsaw. <laughs> I knew you did six. I know you guys did six. I'm still telling we you. You didn't do six. Go easy on me, I'm still learning to count. So now what we're doing, Mike is off first. We're doing hot laps. Have, got five seconds. Go. This is to get a baseline time so that we can figure out how long a lap should be. And then it's gonna be an elimination thing. So you have to hit the time or better or else you're eliminated. I started to figure out, watch here, go as far right and then swing it so you get speed to get over the logs. See that technique? That Something as simple as that, it's, it's the setup to the obstacle. It's not getting over the obstacle, it's the setup to it. And look at that. I carried right through that section. I got the momentum moving. Very subtle little things that can help you. I did it that way better. Mike was three, sec three seconds ahead of you. Oh, I was just taking it easy. You must have ripped through that. Did you go in the same line? I think I did. You went way I wide. Him and Mike were the same. Man, A's have got to do it in 245. <laughs> yeah. That dude's on fire, man. B. Go! Oh. camera set up on everybody so I couldn't really track the B and C classes so it's really all you're seeing is the A classes between Mike Adam and I but there's all sorts of racing going on tonight I just it's not visible unfortunately next time we'll have to get some more cameras out there I'm going pretty good here until the log this log right here it was getting slippery. 
Everything was getting a lot more slippery. Let's see if I can do this section better. Swinging it hard, get it over. Oh yeah! I think we're good, just go! Did you have it that time, oh, little tree boy? Yeah, you made it! What did I get? <laughs> got a rider. What's the plan, John? I'm thinking, I'm thinking, Jeff, I'm under pressure. No pressure, hurry up. <laughs> B's and C's will get a 30 second handicap. Raw time, 30 second handicap. Do they get to go first? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, then they make absolutely, the A right absolutely. Kind of I better put my goggles on. Because then they can maybe slow down the other guys so if they want. C's are first, then B's, then A's? C's first. I'm breaking. Which like is, that. You're going to run anyway, Nick, or are you going to. thought I got knocked. You did. But you can but you still can, run. You can run it. Do I get extra points or? You go, yeah. You go first. It's first. to be determined. Extra points. I got it on camera. I'll remember that. Yeah, you get, you get a minute. Nick, Ooh, perseverance you points. points. You get a minute. Oh. So the times on that first elimination round were a little bit generous. Only Nick got it eliminated. One person. But that doesn't matter because now what we're doing is just a full on race. Everybody's starting. In opposite order, whoever wins, wins. Now this is Jeff in front of me here. I go for a little sneaky line on the inside of this log. Oh, look at that. He puts the hammer down. He's not letting me through. But I go to the right, he's got to go to the left. And this is interesting because now we're on two separate courses, but the times are kind of working out. It's, it's a very complex system here. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, oh, man! I thought I could have ran. Uh, I don't think I've done that c clean yet. So it works out. I come. I'm catching back up to Jeff. But there's no way. He's got it. He's got it. This race finishes up. I believe, according to my notes, Casey took the win. Then it was Sean and Jeff following. We then had a race between Mike, Adam, and I up the stream. This was terrible. We'll skip all that misery and move on to the final event. If you brake, slide, skid everything underneath it, and then pop back up and ride out of it, that's good. Introducing how low can you go limbo on the dirt bike. We're starting at 66 inches. And all you got to do is ride under the pole without knocking it off and without falling down or dropping the bike. You got to ride out of it. So the first level here is pretty simple. See, it's gonna, you're going to want to be able to two or one? I'm going to take it down two because I'm 62. Okay. All right, so this is Pete. He gets under it. Sean gets under it. Casey. Everybody gets under it. I go for it. Oh! Uh, that didn't happen. Is that DQ'd? That's a good idea. Take the feet off, Nick. I, it wasn't my idea. It was oh. a bike time DQ. You do get a rebuttal. So I have one more attempt, however, it's dropped down to the next level, so I gotta get it here or else I'm out. You wanna do this? It's at 60 inches now. All right, I got it. Adam gets it. Oh, gotta get that sledgehammer Adam! Adam was the one that set it up. Adam's leaving tools in the car. That's what I hit. <laughs> Oh! 
Nice. So everybody gets through that, even Kate. Got it. <laughs> We're now down to 56 inches. Oh, the handlebar. Whoa. It's a handlebar. So Sean caught it with the handguard, and when you tip the bike, it puts the bar in the air unless like you're curving. I, it's a weird thing. I don't know, it's, it's not really a common encounter on the trail unless you're going under really low trees. I don't know. Wow. We are down to 54. Everybody is still in. Uh-oh, Mike hit it. Oh! Randy hits it. So Randy's last chance, he hits it. So he is out. That was close. Woo! Yikes. <laughs> Nick hits it, the pole was flying, his seat fell off. Man. So unfortunately, Nick, Sean, and Randy get disqualified at the 54 inch mark. Oh! We're now onto the 52 inch. Oh! Which is really when the challenge starts happening. Yeah! Casey gets it. Jeff getting it. Oh, I catch it. I'm not through yet. One more chance. Mike got it there. Oh, she should have kept her head down. Kate almost had it. Okay. Oh. <laughs> We're onto the 50 incher now. Jeff not quite able to get it. Oh my gosh. Incredible. Casey is, he is good at this. It looks like the 50 inch mark is the cutoff where it really starts getting difficult. Here goes Adam. Oh, Just touches it, but it, it doesn't like, fall, so it counts. Got he got through it. So Adam and Casey. Long leg. Oh, he almost had it. Woo. Whoa. I got it. Kate gives it a whirl, but she. She doesn't even try. She just goes straight through it. Too low. It gets brought down to 48. Uh, <laughs> Yikes. Whoa. That didn't work. Oh. At 48, nobody's able to get it. And so at this point, a new rule gets created. So what's the rule? Slide, you slide through. You don't have to, you don't have to stay up there. Oh. So the new rule is that you just have to get under it. No matter what. You can ride, you can crash, you can do whatever. Mike tries a slow <laughs> technique. That doesn't work. Randy's trying the technique of compressing the bike beneath it. That doesn't quite work. Yeah, oh yeah. There's always a bonus. Yeah, bonus points, even if you were disqualified earlier. Now oh, Nick is using the man. technique of throwing his bike oh. under the pole and it works. You can see where this is going. That's good. I go in here and nearly ruin the game. Whoops. That may have messed it up. It gets lowered even more. What? Look at that. Casey able to ride out of it. Holy. <laughs> yeah, baby. So Nick. Nick is staying in it. Whoa. 
I mean, this is gonna get ridiculous. All right, so now I'm. At I went down. <laughs> That's good. That's good. That's good. It's just like football. The axles have to cross the plane formed by the two <laughs> two by fours. Here goes Nick's attempt. Jeez. <laughs> I feel like this should be a real event. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the 2018 Dirt Bike Limbo Championship. Casey coming in for his approach with some speed. Bumps the right oh, post. Pull down, pull down. We'll see if he can get a rebuttal coming up. But here is Nick making his approach. No, oh, not low enough. Pull down, pull down. Jesus. <laughs> Is that normal? That's normal. Okay. Casey making his rebuttal approach. He's coming in high. He's coming real fast. He's down. No. That's, Good. The I rear think... axle. Not crossing the plane. Watch it. Oh, Attempting oh. to salvage some points. He's going. He's, got, he's got it. Pole is still up. Nick coming in. He's down oh. early. Oh. The bike. The axles are across the plane. I don't know. To say. It's good. Hey. I said anything goes. I said anything goes. Anything goes. Casey, flying in. Wow. Incredible. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Nice All right, Nick is coming in. It's super low. Nails it. Beautifully executed. <laughs> Got this. Now what do we do? Do we play rock, paper, scissors? Best of three? Best of three, rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Mm -hmm. Is it two out of three? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, it was. <laughs> there we go. Congratulations, Casey. Well, man. He is the champion of the third round of the 2018 Tuesday Night World Championship Series. I know it's a little late. This was last summer, early last summer. But hey, better late than never. Thank you guys for watching. We will see you at the next round, number four. And then after that, there is round number five, the finale.